method. It's exactly what this method is for. So for each book in our library, we're going to fill up this, this vector that we created with the, uh, with the uh, proper with the proper data. So I'm just copy and paste this two, three. Now what these numbers mean, this is the book index. This is this what which book are we on? What book are we looking at? Are we looking at the we have three books. We're starting from the first book, incrementing this, then the second book. And what this is doing is we're assigning the first row or the ith row of our vector this the ith row and the uh, zeroth column so the ith row and the zeroth column one second let me just have a a running instance of my All right, so what this means is this right here is the ith row. So for example, this is the zeroth row, the first book right here. The zeroth column, the first column, which is this, the title. Now the one is going to be the second column, the author. What are we going to put in there? Second, what are we going to put in price? Third, what are we going to put in serial number? And we're going to do that for... Sorry. I didn't, I didn't know that it, was, uh, it wasn't showing in my screen. So this right here, this corresponds to this column. Number one corresponds to this column. Number two, and so on and so forth. And this I is just for each of the book. Book number one, number two, number three, number four, for however many books we have in our collection. Alright? So what do we need for this one? Well, we need an author. Alright. So all we're gonna do is collection dot get i which will this will be at this point in time it will be a, a book object. And all we're gonna do is get author. I guess we haven't created the method for that yet. We're just going to copy and paste this. Um, now, in here, instead of get author, we're going to get get price. Get serial number. All right. Now, go our library uh, to our library system, and um, no, sorry, have Eclipse create the method for us. All of this, of course, all the return types are strings because we're manipulating strings, and I know they're not strings; they are. Uh, not, not all of them are strings. The ISBN is not a string, but and the uh, price isn't a string. But however, all we're doing is displaying it. So all we really need are strings. So we're going to use strings. Since we're not really going to use them for calculation, we're just going to put them in our table because our table, again, is a uh, string vector. So all of them need to be string. Again, just return the author. return the price and this is giving us an error because what is this oh this is not a string so we need to convert it to a string again how to convert a uh, this is a double so we're going to have to say double that to string argument takes in a double which is the price there we have it here the serial number is a uh, is a integer so what we're gonna do is either we can
what I call it again. Sorry about that. I meant to say get ISBN and just return the ISBN. Again, this is an integer. We can just cast it to a string. Oh, never mind. You can't do that, I guess. Well, I learned something new. So, how to get the string, how to turn primitives to a string that is value of. I have ISBN there. Now it's a string. All right. Go back to our library class. Instead of get serial number, we're going to get the ISBN. Now that we filled up, now it's going to return the total once we're done iterating through all the books. And we're going to turn this string vector. Now let's create a... Uh, we need an actual an actual uh, vector object in here. So let's create that. We're going to need two. Let's just put it in here. Um, our data vectors. Data book for the book table and the uh, data file for the file table. So we now have a string vector. We're going to use data book. Yeah, we're going to use data book in our, uh, let's see. God, this thing is getting long. Um, where was it? Okay, let me show you something cool about Eclipse. If you right-click over here and just go to Folding and click on Collapse All, it's going to collapse all of it so we don't see what's inside the methods. And now, where are we, where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, here, we're at Load Library, okay. So now it looks a lot cleaner, more compact. All right. So now we need to insert. Sorry. So now we need to say uh, we actually need to make use of our method that we just created. So our data book, and we're going to call the lib dot two string vector, which returns a uh, uh, two dimensional array. Hmm. All right. Now that we have this uh, vector, we're actually going to insert it into our table. The way we're going to do that is again, let's create a for loop and i equals zero. Um, I less than data book dot length for each of the data book for each of the row of our data book we're just gonna okay let me just copy this up to here so we've got our data model right here And then what are we going to do? We're going to add a, add a row to it. And we're going to use this one right here, which takes in an array. What array are we going to pass in? We're going to pass in the array contained in data book at index i. Because again, this data book is an array that contains a list it's an array of arrays, if that makes any sense. So index i, so index 0, there's this array. Index 1, there's this array. And now, if I believe if we run our, if we run our application, this should work now. So let's actually run this.